far we got to go yet. You Hello. told me it was only 100 metres. We're going to have to be doing our uh, scouts and brownie tricks, aren't we? <laughs> what are those? I don't know. I think it's tea time already. Tea time? Tea time. It's always tea time, tea time. Bradley, I'll tell you. Have you got a kettle? <laughs> <laughs> I mean you... more cakes than stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> well, Bradley, there's worse places for an interview. <laughs> a bit removed from MotoGP up here in Scotland, but beautiful scenes, isn't it? Have you had an interview like this before? No, which is kind <laughs> of one of the reasons why I, uh, I thought it would be an interesting idea. Um, it certainly beats uh, trying to set it up inside the, the paddock somewhere. Just come out on the, uh, the outdoors and uh, appreciate the, the sunshine while it's, while it's here. When you get back into action, there's still a lot to fight for, isn't there, in the championship? Do you feel capable of, of hanging in there? We know Phillip Island suits the Yamaha really well, um, you know, just the kind of like fast flowing nature of the track. So obviously, first of all, getting there and, uh, and you know, putting on a, a good, good performance there. I knew once Danny found his form, you know, it was going to be even tougher. And especially after watching him in Aragon, uh, it's not going to make it easy for me. that top satellite position it would mean a lot wouldn't it i think even more so than than for other riders just because that was the goal that i set myself and i thought going into this season it was a big goal not because it was necessarily top satellite but it was being in front of you know my teammate paul espargaro cal crutchlow scott redding which you know are all big names you know and all guys that have uh, four or won world championships in the in the past do you feel you've answered a lot of your critics this year is that an important thing for you I think the most important thing is the critics outside the paddock, no, but the critics inside the paddock, you know, and finally those critics inside the paddock are going to be the guys that decide if I get a factory contract, um, you know, uh, June, July next year. You know, they're going to be the guys that I need to, to approve and I'm sure all of them have had, you know, well, they've not been interested in the past, you know, and let's be honest, you know, that's the reason why I am, you know, still a satellite rider. You know, they're the ones that I needed to prove wrong, and I think that I've done that so far. I know you're going to be so jealous from your hotel room. I don't know what you mean, Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby! You've obviously done this before. Well, you know, I look like the outdoorsy type, don't I? The moment of truth. Voila! <clears throat> Doesn't look too bad, Gav. That's not so bad in there. I think we've actually done a good job. Is your aim, by the end of the next year, to be in a position where the factory have to take you? Which factory, Gav? Well, Which factory? factory? <laughs> OK, well, I was thinking, first of all, with Yamaha, because obviously yeah. you've been with them, and that's got, I'm assuming that's got to be the first choice. I think the, the motto, um, you know, that I've tried, to, tried to, to take now, you know, with all of the things between me and Yamaha and obviously me not being a Yamaha contracted rider and stuff is be so good they can't ignore you. So I know, you know, I knew this year was big, and I knew 2013 was it, you know, it just keeps on going on. But if I've done it this year, then it is possible next year. There's a lot of bikes that, you know, are going to be up for grabs. And um, there's a lot to happen between now and then. I am a type of person that I want results. You know, money I can try and earn in another way when my career is done and move forward and, and go on from there. But actual results and saying that I did everything I possibly can inside of my MotoGP career, that's what I want to be able to do. I want to be able to close the door when I retire and say I did the best that I possibly could, regardless of, of, of money um, or financial gain. Well, let's hope you're in a position yeah. by the end of yes. next year yes. to be picking and On choosing. On a positive side. No, because that would mean that things have gone well. Absolutely. Next year, Bradley. Absolutely. Thanks very much. I think we need to start the campfire because it's starting to get yeah, a bit chilly out here. Yeah, it's chilly now, yeah.